So today I'm going to show you how to turn a plain boring lamp into a bright bohemian showpiece. So get out your paintbrushes and let's get started. So I started with a plain $5 lamp from the Salvation Army and then I took some paper and some masking tape and I masked off the top of it so that only the bottom was exposed because I didn't want paint on the actual workings of the lamp. And then I just took some metallic blue spray paint and coated the entire bottom with it. So here's the base once it's all blue. And then you want to get some plastic gems and take one of the gems and trace it onto a piece of cardboard you want to draw another line just a little bit inside the other one, so a little smaller than the base of the gem. And then just take an X-Acto knife or a pair of scissors and cut out the inner circle so that the circle in your cardboard is a little bit smaller than the base of your gem. So then you'll just take that cardboard template that you made, lay it on your lamp, and fill in the circle. You probably have to give it a couple coats, letting them dry in between in order to cover everything. It's going to be the inside of your flower. So then you'll just paint petals on the flowers. I like doing those big five petal flowers. But you can do them however you want. And I'm just using a bunch of different folk art metallics. Um, for the colors here, I didn't list every single color because I used a lot of them. But um, they were all just a bunch of different folk art metallics. So here's the base of my lamp once I've got all the different metallic the colored flowers painted on. They've all got different colored centers and different colored petals. Just a bunch of different bright colors. So you want to go back to your plastic gems and take some glue that will stick to metal. I'm using Power Attack. And you'll stick a gem in the center of each of those flowers. You'll do it to all of them. And then at the base, I just took some plastic flower and leaf gems and I glued those all the way around the base, alternating flowers and leaves. And then at the very top, you won't really see this because we covered with the lampshade, but I glued a few flowers because they were kind of cute. So here's the base with all the gems on it. And so then for the shade, you just want to take, because this is a fabric shade, just take a regular pencil and draw on your design. Um, I just freehanded mine, but if you can't freehand it, you can also use stencils or transfer paper to get your design on there. And I just did kind of a psychedelic art design because it matches the rest of my decor and my personality. So then you just want to paint in between all the lines, all the penciled lines. And I do recommend using fabric paint because it'll fill in better. I did use a little bit of acrylic because the fabric paint selection isn't as big and there were just some colors that I wanted that weren't available in fabric paint, but fabric paint does work a lot better for this. And so then to finish it off, I took some puffy paint and I put it along to separate all the sections, just to give it a little dimension. You can see it here around certain pieces, lines in the middle. And so then here's the finished lampshade when the lamp is not on. When it's not on, the acrylic paint um, looks fine, uh, but when it's turned on, I'll show you in a minute, you can see that there's cracks in between it. This is the full lamp, again, not on yet. So here it is once it's on, and this is where you can really see where the, the difference between the fabric paint and the acrylic paints. The fabric paints kind of glow because they've penetrated through the entire fabric, and the acrylic paints are just kind of dark, and you can see the cracks from the brush strokes and stuff like that. So I would recommend using fabric paint uh, whenever you can, but like I said, there were some colors that I wanted that were not available in fabric paint, so I did use some regular acrylics for this.